room 277. Starting at the lower landing of a staircase, Portia goes up to the steps by repeating a three-step sequence, moving two steps up then moving one step down. Starting at the upper landing of the staircase, Micah goes down the steps by repeating a different three-step sequence, moving two steps down then moving one step up. Can you guys please quiet down? I'm trying to do my homework. After simultaneously moving to their first steps, Portia and Micah both move to another step every three seconds. To go from the upper landing to the lower landing of the staircase involves a net movement of 12 steps. How many seconds after moving to the starting steps will Portia and Micah reach the same step? Pillow fight. <laughs> Micah, Micah. I told you kids to get these boxes moved before bedtime and you guys don't have much time left. Guys, hurry up and figure this out. And if dad gets mad, that's not my problem. Supreme. Behold, Graham Graff. I'm Graham Graffer, and my specialty is graphing. Here are my partners X axis and Y axis. And Katie Chartington. My name is Katie Chartington, and I make charts because I'm smart. They're here to save you. Good luck. And remember, you don't have much time. Well, according to my calculations, as you can see here, the x-axis represents time in seconds. Our y-axis here will represent our step number. Since our first simultaneous step isn't timed, at zero seconds, I'll be on the 11th step and Chartington will be on the first step. My sequence is down two steps and up one step whereas Chartington's sequence is up two steps, down one step. Because of this sequence, at three seconds, I'll be on the tenth step, and Chartington will be on the second step. At six seconds, I'll be back at my eleventh step, and Chartington will go back down to the first step. Continuing the sequence, you can see that Chartington and I will simultaneously reach the sixth step at exactly 39 seconds. This is when we'll rescue the girl. I love to make charts. Charts. Chart. Chart. Okay, so on this chart, this column will represent me and my journey, and this column will represent Graffer on his journey. My pattern will be up, up, down. Graffer's sequence is down, down, up. So we will continue the pattern. These columns will represent the step numbers. My stepping sequence would be step one, step two, and then back to step one, and then back up to step two, up to step three, then back to step two, and we'll continue down. Graffer's sequence is step 11, step 10, then back up to step 11, then back down to step 10, down to step nine, and back up to step 10. Then he will also continue that sequence all the way down. Since Graffer and I start at the same time, the first step will not be timed, but after that, every step will last for three seconds. All the way up to the sixth step, all of those threes add up to 39 seconds which is when Graffer and I will rescue the girl. Thank you! I got it! Thank you! What did she just call us? Ignore her. She's been a little loopy lately. <laughs>